A funeral service for the Fort Worth woman killed by a police officer could be held in the next couple of days. Saturday's planned services were canceled after a Tatiana Jefferson's father was granted a temporary restraining order. Marquise Jefferson argued that he was being excluded by other family members during the planning process and that a GoFundMe account created to help with funeral costs wasn't necessary. He and other family members were scheduled to be in court Monday, and if all gets settled, services could be held Thursday morning. The officer who shot Jefferson through the bedroom window resigned and faces a murder charge. Stay tuned on that one. A political statement during a girls' high school soccer game wound up with at least four players getting yellow penalty cards, but they're not stopping with their activism. The statement came moments before the end of Friday night's game when members of the Burlington, Vermont team peeled off their official jerseys to reveal custom white shirts underneath. The message? equal pay for men and women in sports. The shirts were part of a bigger campaign by the advocacy group Change the Story, and they were inspired by efforts from soccer star Megan Rapinoe and her teammates to close the wage gap between men and women in professional sports. The team's equal pay jerseys are for sale, and the proceeds go towards girls' youth soccer in that community. So what do you think of the name Pierre Delecto? Utah Senator Mitt Romney conceded to Slate late Sunday that he's been secretly tweeting with that pseudonym since 2011 shortly after he renounced his run for president. Some tweets were in support of Romney, while others took on his critics, and some were critical of President Trump and the Republicans. But why Pierre Delecto? That's unclear, but there's got to be a fascinating story there. That's Fast Blast for now. Check back later. Raquel will have the Fast Blast Entertainment Edition.